Imagine an entire world on Earth where almost nothing is known. A world where cameras shatter, machines collapse and light vanishes into infinite darkness. A world so hostile that creatures literally dissolve when brought to the surface. Yet, this is where ancient animals live. Animals we have barely seen alive. When a submersible descends, the lights turn off. The ocean swallows everything and by 200 meters, the sun dies. By 1000 meters, you enter the midnight zone where temperatures freeze, pressure reaches 300 times what we feel on land, sound distorts and visibility becomes zero. Most deep sea creatures live thousands of meters deeper in a realm humans were never meant to see. The pressure at 3,000 meters reaches 4,400 PSI. Like a blue whale pressing on your thumbnail, crushing normal cameras, bending steel, even deforming titanium if the engineering is off by millimeters. Only a handful of submersibles like Alvin, Shinkai and rare ROVS survive down there, making every piece of footage rare because the equipment itself is fighting for its life. But even when the camera works, the creatures remain invisible. Deep sea animals evolved to avoid being seen. Ultra black skin absorbing 99.95% of light, transparent tissues, soft bodies blending into water, bioluminescent flashes shorter than a blink, and movement so slow they might shift only once an hour. They see your lights from 50 meters away hear your sub from kilometers away and vanish instantly. To them, our machines are screaming, glowing aliens. And the ocean's size makes filming almost impossible. 71% of Earth covered in water, less than 5% explored. And deep sea animals wander alone with no home range, meaning a sub might descend in the wrong place for days without encountering life. Finding one animal requires luck, timing, and patience. Even if we capture one and bring it up, we never see its real form. Blobfish, eels, snailfish all deform at the surface because pressure disappears, tissues expand, bodies collapse, pigments change, meaning deep sea animals can only be seen alive in their own world. That's why footage like the Dumbo octopus dancing, the first living giant squid filmed in 2012, or the deepest snail fish ever recorded at 8,336 meters are legendary moments requiring silent subs, red light rigs, specialized lures, 40-day expeditions, and millions of dollars. Any clip of a deep sea creature alive is the result of years of planning, engineering, and pure luck. But technology is changing everything. Ultra-sensitive low-light cameras that don't scare animals, soft silent submersibles, baited landers that wait for weeks, drones capable of reaching 11,000 meters, AI predicting animal movement, and pressurized chambers keeping animals alive during ascent. For the first time in human history, we can observe deep sea creatures like we observe wildlife on land. Deep sea animals aren't mysterious because they're rare. They're mysterious because their world was never designed for us. A realm of crushing pressure, eternal night, alien biology and vastness so extreme our cameras are like tiny sparks floating through a black universe. Yet every expedition reveals more new species, new behaviors, new secrets. The deep ocean is Earth's last true frontier. And somewhere in that endless darkness, countless creatures are still waiting to be seen alive for the very first time.